Guys, let us discuss a proven strategy to get a rank under 100 in gate 2026. So guys, firstly, it is very important to aim for a rank that is less than 100 in 2026. So firstly, guys, why you should aim a rank under 100? Actually, it opens the doors to top IITs, NITs for MTech and PhD. You can uh, get selected in any of the top IITs such as IIT Kanpur, Khadakpur, Bombay, Madras, Delhi and many more. So that actually would give you a good confidence and would boost your career. Okay, then it also opens PSU as a career path. There are a number of uh, premier Maharatna uh, uh, companies such as ONGC, BHEL, ISRO, NTPC. So they would actually give you exceptional career growth, security and competitive salary. So that is why also you should aim for AIR 100 or less than it. And guys, academic excellence, once you just clear gate uh, with uh, just the cutoff marks, that won't be that much impressive. But if you have a score that is uh, very good, no, or if you have a rank that is less than 100, actually it boosts your confidence a lot. So that is why I would always ask you aim for a rank that is less than 100 in gate 2026. Okay guys now uh, before beginning let us quickly understand what is the exam structure and what are the question types that comes in the gate. So guys exam structure is see we have 30 disciplines okay in engineering where actually you can give uh, the gate exam and you can choose two papers okay so candidate can choose two papers simultaneously then the new eligibility is third year students are also uh, coming uh, they can also sit which, which actually increases the competition significantly now if you just see the question types no here uh, we have mcq questions so two mark question and one mark question for one mark question we have negative marking as 0.33 and for two mark question the negative marking is 0.66 then we have msq and nat for msq we have no negative marking for nat we have no negative marking then guys now it is very important to analyze the previous year papers okay so this would actually give you the comprehensive list of all the concepts that, ha that have been asked and weightage distribution so guys these are two very important steps while giving gate in any of the stream so just analyze what exactly which uh, uh, I mean subject is more important and which subject is less important and based on that priority then start make your plan and then st accordingly start studying okay then after that let us uh, uh, delve step by step let us go step by step how to actually build a smart realistic and study plan so that uh, you can actually get a score uh, less than I mean get a rank less than 100 so firstly guys time distribution strategy always follow this 4 3 2 1 principle where 40% of the time should be given for learning 30% for practice 20% for revision and 10% for PYQ mock test and other things always follow this rule whenever you are planning your day you should always follow this 4 3 2 1 rule then subject wise allocation I always say that you should always give priority to the subjects which are high in weightage okay for example uh, if I just talk a regarding uh, gate D8 that, that is data science and uh, artificial intelligence I would always say give first priority to mathematics because that scores around 30 to 35 marks that would come around 30 to 35 marks so it would give you a big advantage if you can score around 30 31 32 marks there then daily structure okay daily routine uh, we have to create and weekly timetables we have to create dedicated revision slots regular breaks right so guys these three firstly I mean every day you have to plan okay every day you should plan and then accordingly then you should start your study okay then step two is use the best resources and technology guys see in every for every discipline no we have plenty of resources but some are good and some are actually waste you shouldn't go for those and actually gradually only you'll understand no which is good and which is uh, the uh, I mean the worst one okay so you should only focus on trusted study materials for certain premier institutes then you should have digital tools such as mobile apps video lectures okay virtual calculators so all these techniques actually you should you uh, should use because they would actually benefit you okay uh, while sitting uh, in the exams and then practice resources guys you should always uh, take certain previous year questions and mock tests from good premier institutes I mean these test series always you should take from some good premier institutes so this would actually benefit you a lot then uske baad, step three is uh, yes that time management is very important guys here time management is very important so uh, yeah though you have to actually manage your time uh, very uh, precisely and mock test also should be given so firstly regular mock tests then 
uh, we should analyze no where we are actually lacking behind and what is my speed and accuracy guys so the tip that i would like to give you is balance conceptual clarity with problem solving speed through consistent practice and strategic time allocation during exams so this is actually one of the best tip that i got while i was preparing and i would like to deliver the same to you okay guys then uh, step 4 is always stay motivated and manage stress guys no one would come you to actually motivate you because that is your uh, decision that you took gate and this is your decision that you are studying so i always say that stay motivated no one is going uh, no no one is coming to motivate you so you can firstly set the goal that yes i should get a rank less than 100 in 2026 this is the goal that you have said that is the first step then after that Uh, yes after that we have to manage the stress because while studying no you would be stressed in number of situations so try to be chill and try to be calm with patience and then start your preparation and then guys always you should have certain friends or certain colleagues where uh, you can discuss uh, the things with them so try that peer support could be availed and yes at the last i would say consistency matters guys so you should be consistent and you should study a uh, number of hours each and every day okay because every day would count for scoring that good rank okay then guys this is the proven success formula which uh, i have actually gathered after talking to number of rankers guys so you can just see that uh, if you want to score no uh, rank in le less than 100 so firstly exam pattern is very important as i discussed just uh, see what all concepts are regularly being asked so you should uh, be very confident about that then you have to prioritize high imp uh, impact topics that means the subject whose weightage is high you should be prioritizing that and practice rigorously guys there is no substitute for practice there is no substitute for hard work every day counts so every day you have to solve problems Uh, of uh, uh, difficulty levels of, of varying difficulty levels okay and then we have to revise okay i always say guys that you should always make formula sheets okay short formula note you should make so uh, sit uh, with three or four uh, i mean a4 pages while studying and just write the important formulas just uh, jot down important formulas concepts and this would help you actually when you would be revising those just before uh, i mean the exam and you have to guys stay consistent this is the last step i would say that please stay consistent and make a target that you have to study 6 to 8 hours daily so this commitment you have to give then regular self assessment and continuous improvement mi mindset okay guys so continuously you have to study and as i told you every day counts here okay so guys uh, i would wish you all the very best for gate 2026 journey and i would say that it starts from today itself i know time is less but uh, then also guys i can say that if you just follow a strategic approach if you optimize the resource and your execution is confident there is no power that can stop you so definitely you can achieve your dream and you can achieve a good institute or a psu job and yes a bright future awaits you thank you so much